Well, I'm continuing to pick away at this. As you can see, I've changed my shapes a little bit. I had this shape, this sort of this shape of structure drawn in with my charcoal here. I liked something about it, but it was too far into the painting. So I changed the shape a little bit, moved it back, and now it's sitting over here. I think it's good support. I think it, it's going to serve to, to uh, this being toned down, it'll serve to keep the, dirt, uh, the, the attention in this area. Also, I've brought it a little bit forward. As you can see, it's a little bit below the shoreline. Um, yeah, you know, don't want too straight a shoreline. Had another shape here. I made it a lot smaller. Still a rock. Liked it. Decided to put a maybe an old trunk of a cedar tree or something, but this will be a piece of uh, driftwood. Took this piece of land and I've just pushed it back. Made it less important. Um, that's about it. I'm going to keep playing. Talk to you shortly. Getting things more organized yet. Just darkening the background because there is so little of it um, in most of the painting. I'm going to start with very low values. We'll work up from there. I've gone very cobalt blue. Cobalt blue with a bit of uh, burnt sienna. Quite thinned off in some areas. I like this color. Um, it will provide a good backdrop uh, for the light that's going to shine in the foreground. Now we have this bright white taken care of down here. It's kind of nice, slowly focusing in on the important area. Um, I've got a lot of ultramarine blue along the bottom, and especially on the right hand side. Ultramarine blue, uh, yellow ochre, a bit of raw umber, keeping it really dark, you know. From, from here this way, I'm going, I think I'm going to keep it fairly toned down. Uh, here as well, it's not going to be in, too intense. My intensity, my intensity is really mostly going to be in this area. Probably, well, I don't know, I don't know, we might go right of center, left of center, I'm not sure. You can lay it in an area and you can pull it one way or the other, depending on, you know, where you lay your values, your highest values of chromas. But again, you know, I went pretty dark in here, it's gotten rid of the white. Um, Oh, yeah, okay, that, so there was a lot of ultramarine blue in the bottom here. Um, getting up into here, I've used uh, raw umber, um, yellow ochre, bit of ultramarine blue, just a hint of it, and alizarin crimson. So there's a few streaks varying the colors a little bit. This is almost straight ultramarine blue in this shot. Not that I clean my brush between smearing, I just added more of one color or more of another color. So, um, that's where it sits now. I'm going to start playing on these stones, or the grass, or something. So this was going to be, the stone was going to be a boulder peeking out of the water that stood well in front of this area. This entire sort of small bluff of rock was going to be more or less on, on, on the same plane. Um, I looked at this stone and I thought, you know, I would think I'd like to continue it up, put some design in the rock, seeing as this is going to be a fairly major area of interest, I would, I would make this area stand proud of all of this and push this into the background and make it less important. So I thought that was a good device to, to incorporate this rock into a bluff. You can see, you know, I'm starting to put a bit of a, a, a bit of a design, some some diverging lines, some converging lines, uh, you know, for the sake of foreshortening the appearance of, of this line and this line uh, uh, converging as it were to go around the rock gives you the sense that there's a bit of a round shape there. 
this little scratch of paint is going. Uh, anyway, you'll see that as we move along. But, you know, it's also quite plausible, it's, it's quite natural. You may have a, a, a vein of rusty, um, um, mineralizing stone within a harder uh, granitic bluff or, you know, what have you. There, there can be any combinations of things. So, <laughs> I'm still playing with that. At the moment, I'm going to cover this in a very dark, warm green. I don't think you'll see the actual color on camera, but I'm going to keep all this very dark and then to lighten up slowly as we go in this direction. It's going to start dark because I want, when I lay my brush or knife strokes over it, to have some drama to individual strokes. So light against dark will help things stand out. So when you see the painting washed in in its general colors, the values are often pretty skewed. So you won't know immediately what it's going to look like. Anyway, as you can see, I've decided on my rocky structure back here. I'm happy with that. I think that's going to work out just fine. So I'm just scrubbing in around these rocks and it's really kind of more a matter of labor than anything else. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll get back to you once I have the rest of the painting washed in. Thanks very much for watching. We will talk to you soon.